inch, that hurts. Golly. DC, you have the cheapest teleporters. That hurt. All right, Finn. Domers, I think I know why I'm here. Check this out. I can translate. Boomerang has a concussion from the enemy you missed in our last encounter. <laughs> Guess those teeth are sharper than your eyes, Shark Man. I never, you never miss. miss. Never miss. Yeah, yeah, we bloody know. You never shut up about it. <laughs> Task Force X. Alpha target is in the open. Get your asses to the Metropolis Grand Hotel and engage. Before I have another reason to blow those bombs in your heads. <sighs> oh, shit. Three. Yeah, I'm in Seattle, Nashville, on the ground. I'm the I stop the ground. Like a man, that's a big deal. We're back around the train. Can't stop the train. Who wants to talk to me? knock a few years off the old sentence. That's reminding me of something. Oh, yeah! Wally's stupid alpha target. Who are we supposed to be killing again? Oh, look, it's Superman. The mighty Superman has just rescued that pilot. What a show-off. Beat it! No. No. So, figure out who we're killing yet? Oh, fuck! No, no, it's crazy. So, did you ever think of rock a microphone like that? Damn boy, it would still stay free. Big things happen every time we meet, like a crack team, right now. I shouldn't have done that, shark. Wow, okay, very dangerous. Yeah, that's uh, more dangerous than they said it would be. It's, uh, <laughs> come on, get me out of here, please. <sighs> uh. Hello? Oh, I got someone, I got someone. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, who, who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I'm Holly freaking Quinn, fart face. Who Oh, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, hey, Jax, come here. 
Hey, who is it? A new lawyer? You gotta help us, mate! No, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer, although I probably played one once. But no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm Will Arnett. Will Arnett? I'm your biggest fan. Bojack was the only thing that kept me going in Bel Rev. Every night. Starved. Tortured. Experiment. Wait, 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 wait. An actor? <laughs> Great. Hang up, Quinn. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang, don't, don't hang up. Uh, look, what, uh... Maybe I can help. What, what seems to be the problem? It's Walla. She wants us to kill the bloody Justice League. We're way out of our depth there. We need to get out of this insane mission. Speak for yourself. I can see the headlines now. Harley Quinn finally kills the bat. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That is that is the can-do attitude that I'd expect from a group called the Suicide Squad. That moniker does not bode well for our chance of success. All right, well, I tell you what, why don't you just give me the rundown? What, uh, who are you guys? What, what kind of powers you got? I mean, what, what are we, what are we working with here? <laughs> Captain! Sure thing, William! The name's Harley Quinn, and you could say I'm the leader of our little task force. I like baseball bats, explosives, dead superheroes, things that go kablooey, and a great I'm Deadshot, team leader, world's deadliest assassin, and most dangerous marksman alive. And I'm... You may call me King Shark. I am a demigod, the rightful ruler of the seas, and therefore, the true team leader. <laughs> and last, but not least, the one, the only, Captain Boomerang. I'm what you call a supervillain. But don't try calling me the leader of this sorry lot. No, thank you. Leaders are the first to get their heads blown off. Okay, so uh, what? And forgive me, you just... You throw boomerangs? Exactly! Don't know why it took everyone else so long to get it. Aw, oh, sweetie, we just didn't care. Okay, well, I, I mean, does, it, does anyone have uh, laser vision or like a kryptonite-powered suit or... Uh, uh, well, well, you, you might have us confused with Lex Luthor. Well, there's got to be a way. I mean, the world is depending on you guys, right? When I when I look at you, I don't see uh, a drunk or a killer or an, an evil clown lady or a giant monster. Hey, who are you calling a giant monster? No, no, no. You see, what I see, I see heroes. <laughs> you must not have heard of us. We ain't your heroes. Okay, fine. Criminals ready to pay back society and earn themselves a full pardon. Oh. Full pardon? Oh, that, that ain't bad. Well, do we get to kill them all? Even Flash? Yes, yes. The mission is literally called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. That is kind of the whole point. Ooh, do I get to, like, devour them and gain their powers? I, I don't know. Is that a thing? I mean, I can't see why not. All right, screw it. If we're going to die on a mission, might as well do it paying back those self-righteous pricks. Then it is decided. Let us do it for acclaimed actor Will Arnett. Oh. Will! 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 Will. 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 Yes, thank you. Thank you. I do I do what I uh, do what I can with my with my looks and my steely soft voice and of course, my looks, I don't know if I mentioned that, I... Nothing? Okay. Well, thank you, guys. I, uh, really appreciate it. Have, have fun with your mission. Take care, Will. See you later, I'm a huge fan, like, literally okay. the biggest one. All right. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I have a feeling that, that things are about to get really messy. Would you please get me the hell out of here? We're not doing this, right? Not a chance. Ah, that still stings. I mean, it beats the subway, but... Whew. Oh, hey, uh, you must be Sefton. I am indeed. Hi, Will. Hey, man, Sefton Hill from Rocksteady Studios, y'all. Stefan, how'd you, how'd you get here? Did uh, DC also teleport you into the cyberspace realm? Uh, no, they just sent me this uh, green screen for my house. Is it? You got a green screen? Good. That's neat. Lucky 
for you. DC actually teleported me into the uh, into the fan dome, which um, <clears throat> really hurts. But uh, good, green screen. Well, uh, you're lucky. Cool, good for you. Um, okay, well, I guess, look, the, the cat is finally out of the bag here. This is Rocksteady's new game, and there is a lot of anticipation behind it, right? And uh, the Arkham games are extremely popular, and Buzz has been building behind this new game. So, what can you tell us? Uh, well, well, I'm really excited and proud to be able to reveal Rocksteady's Suicide Squad. You know, it's a unique new franchise for gaming, and we've been able to put our own spin on it and create something really special that I think gamers are going to love and enjoy. Obviously, it's brought to you by the team that created Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. And in fact, this is a continuation of the Arkham verse. So a lot of the through threads and the storylines you're going to see come to fruition in this game. So we've been able to combine all of that core DNA with some really great, unique innovations and create what we think is going to be a totally original gameplay experience. OK, well, that's awesome. Um, but let me just ask you this. Why this game? Why Suicide Squad? Well, when we're starting any game, uh, Rocksteady games are all about a character-driven game. You know, It's all about that kind of heart and soul of the characters that we want to bring to life. So we worked with DC, we looked at you know, all the different properties, all the different great characters that they have, and Suicide Squad really spoke to us because of how fascinating these flawed characters are and the fact that it's a fusing all of these characters together. When you're creating a game, you're creating a universe and you want to build it with real heart and soul inside it. And that's what really inspired us to make the Suicide Squad game because you know, DC have this fantastic roster of villains, and being able to actually play these villains and see the interaction and life between them is something that got us really energized and excited. I guess, uh, for me, my biggest question, and really probably everybody's biggest question that, that they want to know is, and, and no offense, but what is wrong with you, man? Why are you making a game about a group of bad guys taking on some of the most beloved heroes of all time. Well, I think for us, we always want to put our characters in interesting and exciting and dynamic situations. And it felt like the Suicide Squad naturally really lends itself to that. You know, even just starting with their boss, Amanda Waller, you know, she's part protagonist, but also part antagonist. You know, she's stuck these nanite bombs in their heads and she's forcing them to do this impossible mission, this mission to take on and kill the Justice League. And I think that's where you always find, I think, the magic is when you can put characters in these situations that are absolutely impossible. And then to a certain extent, these things kind of write themselves because once you've got that premise, you just let that live and breathe and you think, right, well, how the hell can the Suicide Squad kill the Justice League? How can that even happen? And really, that's the genesis of the game. And then it's down to us to take the player on this journey and tell this story of how that could even be possible. Hearing that, let's get into it. Let's let's get into the, the nitty gritty, the stuff that the the hardcore gamers like me want to know exactly what kind of game is this? What, what am I doing in this game? So the game is a hybrid of Rocksteady's experience in bringing characters like Batman to life, that superhero empowerment, combined with really powerful, awesome gunplay. So the superhero empowerment, I guess supervillain empowerment here, is looking at each one of the individual squad members and looking at what's unique about them and transferring this into this really powerful gameplay and using, that, again, those skills and techniques that we've learned over the years, but actually adding more richness and depth to each of them. So each one of them has a richer move set, more things you can do, and more skill required to master them than you even had with Batman. So to do that across the spectrum of Suicide Squad members has been something that's been really enjoyable, and I'm really proud of what the team have achieved there. And then you can combine that with the gunplay, you know, the awesome weapons you're developing over the course of the game, combined with the melee weapons that you have, like Deadshot's wrist cannons, Harley's baseball bat, sharp wielding twin cleavers, and special enhanced traversal moves you can use, like Deadshot doing a fuel dump and setting enemies on fire. You know, so there's, it's really about creating a whole spectrum of possibilities for the player to use and just letting them loose and enjoying them as much as they can. Wow, that sounds awesome. Let's take a couple questions now. We've got, uh, we've got a question from Altair from the UK, and he wants to know, what has been the most exciting part about working on this new game? But I think one thing we we're really excited about was to bring Metropolis to life. So Metropolis itself is really the fifth character in the game, and it's something we've treated the same with Gotham in Arkham City, Arkham Knight was giving this city life beyond just kind of bricks and mortar and making it something that really speaks to the player and being able to realize it to a level of detail that's never been done before in any medium. So we created this open world over which the game takes place. And I think 
It's really a love letter from us to DC fans. I think they're going to love it and really enjoy it. And it's something that I'm really proud of. The team have done a phenomenal job with that. We have another question here, also from the UK, which is, you're from the UK and both questions are from the UK, so somebody do the math. Um, but Ellis from the UK wants to know, with the Suicide Squad game that's, that's, that's coming up, will we be playing as every character from the squad or just one? And if it is just one, which character is it gonna be? Because you want some help killing Superman. Well, the game itself, the structure of the game, is it's a one to four player co-op game. So if you want to play single player, you can totally play single player. I mean, our mantra has been that you play this game how you want to play it. So if you play single player, you'll still have a full squad with you. You'll have two players, two, three, four, will be filled by bots who will fight along with you and really join in the fun and obviously give you that squad experience. But if you want to play multiplayer with your friends, that's still absolutely great. They can join in and take the role of the other squad members and the great thing is that that's a dynamic experience. So you can play some of the story single player, some multiplayer. The whole game is accessible, single player, multiplayer, in and out of those two modes, however you want to do it. So it's really something that we just want to give up to the fans and let them choose. And of course, if you're playing single player, the other cool thing is you can even switch between the characters. You're never locked to any particular character for any particular section of the game. So you want to play as Deadshot, jetpacking around, sniping enemies, you can do that and then boom, just instantly switched to playing as Harley, swinging around and flying into enemies with a baseball bat around the head. So there's so much freedom in the way you play the game because we really wanted to get across that feeling of being a whole squad and not just one person going on this mission. Lastly, I'd like to know if it's okay with you, if, um, can I be in the new game? I'm not saying Task Force X, I'm just saying maybe just like a random handsome guy who's, you know, hanging out in Metropolis, just being handsome and dodging chunks of debris. Uh, I think we can maybe make something work, Will. Great. Well, then it's settled. Uh, that's awesome. That's a contract. Thank you for joining us, Sefton. It's, uh, the game looks absolutely spectacular, and, and it will be made even better by the appearance of me as an NPC. Sure thing, Will. Good luck teleporting home. Oh. I've made a huge mistake.